Now, we begin straight away with uh, our top story for this particular day. There was drama at the Kitui County Assembly this morning after a group of ward representatives blocked lawyers representing Area Governor Chari Tingilu from accessing the office of the Assembly Clerk. The altercation comes after the court temporarily stopped the County Assembly from debating an impeachment motion that seeks to remove her from office. Interestingly, Ngilu's lawyers had made their way to the Assembly following an invitation by the county speaker George Ndoto who was in receipt of a notice of motion for her removal. The motion according to speaker was to be considered on Monday prompting the summon to have Ngilu appear in person or through a legal counsel to respond to allegations stated in the motion. Now, MCAs are accusing Gilu of irregular procurement and failure to pay statutory deductions to the Kenya Revenue Authority. Those are the pictures of the drama that ensued uh, this morning at the Kitui County Assembly. And now joining us uh, live uh, just to give us an update on what was happening today at the Kitui County Assembly, plus what are some of the allegations that have been uh, put uh, uh, forward with regards to what warrants the impeachment of uh, the Kitui Governor Chari Tingilu is uh, none other than Edward Kabasa. A very good afternoon, Kabasa. You were there and witnessed what was happening at the Kitui County Assembly. What more can you tell us and what are the issues that are being raised by the members of the County Assembly in Kitui? Um. There was some drama. There was Good afternoon, Safira Cheng. There was some drama at the County Assembly of Kitui this morning uh, when lawyers representing Governor Charity Ngilu uh, presented themselves on behalf of the governor uh, before uh, the clerk of the County Assembly. Of course, they were responding to an invitation letter um, written um, inviting the governor to come answer to the allegations raised in a motion which was supposed to be debated today. The motion was to be moved by the uh, Kitui County Assembly Majority Leader, Peter Kilonzo, but uh, that, particular, um, that particular process almost turned chaotic because the County Assembly refused to admit the lawyers. The lawyers were demanding to have that um, th th that uh, invitation letter cancelled um, in accordance with the court order that was issued on Friday uh, by the High Court. The debate on the impeachment motion was supposed to take place today morning, but it was struck off uh, from the order paper um, just a couple of uh, minutes before the uh, the county assembly could sit, and. Um, the MCAs are raising a, a number of issues, gross misconduct. Uh, they are saying that the Kitui County Assembly is operating, the Kitui County, I beg your pardon, um, is operating without a substantive uh, um, county secretary. They are also alleging uh, that uh, there is no uh, substantive uh, committee executive member in charge of health. Um, in that uh, motion as well, they are saying that the governor has refused to abide or adhere to the two-thirds gender principle, uh, which requires that uh, all um, appointed positions uh, should be balanced in such a manner that uh, one gender should not exceed uh, two-thirds. They are also uh, accusing the governor of nepotism, that uh, she has given her family uh, senior roles, and this is in terms of business and even appointed um, positions in the the county government. 
the motion was supposed to be debated today, but uh, that particular uh, debate was shelved. We did speak to the leader of the majority party, who um, is the author of this motion, and uh, he stated categorically that uh, the issues raised within that motion are valid, and they have uh, every reason to believe that uh, Governor Charity Tingilu should be, um, you know, should be impeached, and uh, they also raised quite interesting issues, really, that uh, the governor has failed to appear before the Senate County Public Accounts and Investment Committee. Um, but right now, I am joined by the minority leader in the Kitui County Assembly, Alex Nganga, and... Um, um, he will be uh, giving uh, somewhat a response to the issues raised by the, uh, the majority side of the county assembly. Uh, welcome. You are live on uh, KBC Channel 1. Uh, we did see uh, there was a little bit of commotion at the county assembly today when the lawyers representing the governor presented uh, themselves and they were not allowed in. And uh, you have uh, expressed reservations uh, with this, with this motion, that the content of this motion are fabrications. Are you still standing by that, and uh, what has changed going forward? Uh, thank you so much. Uh, my name is Honorable Alex Nganga, uh, the minority leader of Kitui County Assembly, with my colleagues here. And uh, what happened in the County Assembly of Kitui today is very unfortunate. Uh, when uh, uh, lawyers representing the governor came to the County Assembly, and they were flushed out on orders from the speaker by our sergeant at arms. Uh, basically, we had business today, and the business of the house included impeachment of uh, Governor Charity Ngilu. And uh, when lawyers come, as it is required, she had received an invitation uh, to appear either in person or through legal representatives so that uh, she can defend herself. Uh, the governor decided to send our lawyers uh, to represent her. And when they came to the county assembly, the lawyers uh, were chased away. They were raped, uh, assaulted, which is very unfortunate. And uh, that is not the way we should be going. Uh, what I can say and tell the people of Kitui County, the people of Kenya, and generally everybody is, uh, we have a motion of impeachment. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, we, 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 are, we are pressed for time here, but uh, le, let, me, le, let me get just in less than 30, 30 seconds. Um, are there still numbers to, to move this, this motion um, legally and what will happen? Just in less than 30 seconds. One, uh, the mover of the motion, the majority leader, has been unable to gather numbers to push through the motion. And that's why you are seeing all these tactics, of course, hated by the speaker. And uh, they are unable because you need a threshold of at least two-thirds of members of the county assembly to impeach a governor. Today, the members who turned up uh, in the assembly, uh, there were less than 25. To be precise, only 21 members turned up on his side today. So basically, he's unable to marshal the numbers, and that's why you're seeing all these things happening. And uh, to me, this is a motion which is already defeated. And uh, it is defeated because uh, the majority is unable to marshal number to move the motion. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, that that's uh, that's all we we had time for. But uh, this process is not yet over. Uh, the matter raised by the governor uh, before the court will be addressed. Both parties will be appearing before the court next week, and uh, from then on, we'll see what direction this follows. But uh, clearly, uh, there are issues which need to be addressed in terms of the working relationship between the county assembly and the county executive. And the politics therein. My name is Edward Kabasa, live from Kitui County. Thank you so much, Kabasa, for that update. Of course, we'll be uh, staying close just to follow up on the latest happenings at the Kitui County Assembly, even as they continue uh, with the conversations on the impeachment of uh, Kitui Governor Charity Ngilu, who has responded, by the way, and uh, she's responded to the drama that ensued this morning at the County Assembly and says, the County Assembly that invited me, and in brackets, in person or represented by council, to answer to allegations in a witch hunt impeachment motion have violently kicked out my lawyers. And she goes ahead to ask if a proper and legitimate, if a proper and, if it is a proper and legitimate impeachment, why resort to draconian measures? That's the question she's posing there. But of course, we'll be giving you more updates with regards to that particular story.